Hey everybody, welcome to video 3 here. Um, what you're seeing, what I did, is just restart the computer. And I let it boot up from the ISO, or uh, for your case, it would be the CD or the USB, whatever. And um, from there, I, uh, I can pick whatever I want. So I'm going to go to the antivirus menu, and I get to pick whichever one I want to try out. Um, let's say we'll go with uh, G, G data. I know that's got a pretty good um, scanner in it. So what you do is you just, like I said, you scroll down here, you hit enter, and then it should start up. As you can see, uh, their CD is based on uh, Linux. You can see the little Linux uh, guy up there. And uh, basically, you just wait for it to start up. Uh, I should turn on my networking card here so we can find that. because um, the networking card will actually let you be able to uh, update the antivirus too. Um, you can't update it if you are connected through wireless. You actually need a wired connection to be able to update your antivirus here. But if you have a wired connection, um, Now, of course, because this is on a virtual machine, there's some problems here, of course. Let's see here. Let me, uh, let me go to a different antivirus that I know would work on the uh, virtual machine here. Because this is a virtual machine, it is a little bit weirder compared to um, just doing it on a regular computer. So let's try Kaspersky. We're gonna run it in regular mode. I'm sure one I'll get one of these to work right on the virtual machine and then you know um, we can see. But like I was saying, on the networking side you have to be wired. You have to have a wire a wired connection because the drivers and everything like that on these uh, CDs, Linux based CDs don't work that well through wireless. Um, just be connected there to the internet and it'll let you update um, the signatures of whatever antivirus that you're using. So what I'm going to do right now, because this is taking a little bit, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when the Kaspersky Rescue CD, or whatever you want to call it, is uh, booted up. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I got it to boot up and um, I'm in the Kaspersky uh, menu here, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let me see if I can move these down so you can see a little better. Okay. So, um, first things first, uh, what I'm going to do is basically you just work it like you normally do. Uh, you update. Oh, I'm not connected to the net. Come on. Okay, well, because I didn't uh, accidentally forgot to connect to the net while I was booting up, um, it didn't uh, it didn't recognize the internet connection. So let me re reboot the computer here, the virtual machine, and get back in here. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I had to reboot here, and I had to do a couple changes and stuff to get it to work right on the virtual machine. But I got it to work right. As you can see, it recognized the C drive and the boot sector. And uh, right now, it's actually updating, as you can see. It's connected to the net. Um, so what I'm going to do, because this might take a little bit of time. Uh, I have, first thing, I have no idea where I'm getting this speed from. That's a, kind of amazing to me, because I'm uh, not that fast of a connection. Um, OK. So I am going to pause the video here once it's done updating. And uh, when it's done updating, I will come back and I'll show you the scanner and you know how to scan with it. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so uh, the Kaspersky Rescue Disk here finished updating. As you can see, got the updates. And uh, it's pretty much simple. You select what you want to scan here and you hit start scan. And because this is bootable on no malware, can hide from it. Uh, it can't disable it. It can't do anything. And that's the nice thing about using a bootable CD slash uh, USB. 
So what I'm going to do, because uh, I want to see it clean it out and show you guys how it cleans it out, I am going to wait for the scan to actually, you know, work and uh, finish. And then um, we're going to clean it and reboot. And basically that will be it because uh, I'm not going to go through the rest of the ISOs because they're pretty much all the same. They just use different signatures, different software. Um, some of them, like the Dr. Web CD, uh, has the scanner, and then you, it also has uh, a, uh, it's got a, like a little different type of Linux built in, and it's got uh, Firefox, so if you need to scan the net and download something, or, uh, you know, whatever, you can still do it, even though your Windows, you can't boot into Windows because something happened. You can still work, you know, from your uh, your bootable CD, you know, find, get some work done, whatever you need to do. So right now I'm going to pause the video and I'll wait for this to finish and I'll be back when it's all done. See you in a second. Okay, so when it does find an infection, um, this is what you get. You get a pop-up here and it looks like it stops scanning, but you can apply it to all objects. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to hit delete. Okay, and uh, anything, I have a feeling that anything that it finds from now on, it will uh, delete automatically. See, as you see, it just got rid of another one. So as you can see, it's doing its scanning, and uh, it's finding whatever um, malware it needs to find. So I'll be back when it finishes. Okay, so um, it finished scanning, and as you can see, it found uh, one, two, three, five different uh, Trojans and uh, got rid of them as you see just fine and you hit close and you can hit exit and if you want um, you can restart here and uh, you just log out and what I'll do is shut down the machine normally uh, and then you can just power back up and keep going with different uh, scanners so um, that's pretty much it for how to get it set up and everything and then you just have to go you have to decide on which scanners you want to use and you know what software you want to use but it's all uh, basically um, just what you saw there with the Kaspersky one uh, you just have to pick you know whatever you want you can do different utilities if you want that or um, you know my UB uh, ultimate boot CD for Windows or you can go to like the mem memory tester if you have to test your memory or whatever um so that's uh what it that's what uh sardu is um great program whoever developed it genius in my opinion it, it works beautifully uh, especially for a bootable um usb drive that's what i've been looking for for a while and i really like how this program works so uh, hopefully uh, a lot of people can get a lot of use out of this and uh, really clean up their systems because this is the only real way to clean up a system these days. Um, you can't really uh, really affect the system. There's no, no even point of trying to install something and clean it up. You're just going to waste time. Just do it this way and get it over with. Um, then you install software to protect the system and uh, just call it good. Okay. So uh, everybody have a good night, and I'm going to upload these to uh, YouTube, and uh, take care.